What is going on governors of the Rise of Kingdoms universe? I am back again with another video. In today's episode, I'm gonna try and unlock Mr. Leonidas from the Card King. Leonidas, as we know, is one of the best commanders in the whole of Rise of Kingdoms. He is a perfect pairing for Guan Yu. This right here is Guan Yu. Guan Yu has silencing on one of his skills. Leonidas, on the other hand, can do a lot of damage when the opponent is silenced. This is the reason Leonidas is a perfect pairing for Guan Yu. In today's video, I'm gonna try and unlock this beast of a commander. The only other way to get him is from the Mightiest Governor. I cannot win the Mightiest Governor. So right now, I'm gonna try my luck in this card king. As you can see here, there are some awesome commanders on this card king. But the main purpose of this video today is to unlock Leonidas. I am going to waste all of my gems to get this awesome fighter. So this is the card king. You get the sculptures by luck. You have to open them. The first two spins are free. After that, every spin is gonna cost 300 gems. Right now I have 7,616 gems. So I just spawned the first few times and got nothing. There you go, we have a legendary sculpture. We got the first Leonidas sculpture, that's good. Come to Papa, go to the inventory. So far so good. Now we need to unlock the other two and then we're gonna move on to the next stage. Two million wood, not bad. Gonna help me upgrade my city hall to level 25. Subscribe to the channel for more Rise of Kingdoms videos. Turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out. I still have to unlock those two gold heads. Perfect, we just got one here. Hopefully I get it on the next spin. 300, not lucky. Let's keep going. Legendary sculpture, not bad, not bad. There you go. Did we get it? Not yet. Continue spinning. So this thing is gonna let me spin the whole thing just to get the three sculptures. This is a bad spin. Level nine, so terrible. We somehow managed to get all the three sculptures plus that one gold head. It counts, it's not bad. Let's reset and move on to the next stage. The Guan Yu in my inventory is gonna be so happy when I unlock Mr. Leonidas. 500 wood, 500,000 wood. Not a good way to start the day. There you go, we got one sculpture. Perfect. Now we need to get the other two and move on to the next stage. Leonidas, 5511. That's how I am going to upgrade the Leonidas. It's gonna cost me 200 sculptures to get there, but it's gonna be worth it. My Guan Yu is currently sitting at 5111. I have to get some more legendary gold heads, maybe to try and push him to 5155. It's gonna be difficult, but I'll try and use some skill resets to get him there. We just got that too. Now we need to spin one more time and hopefully finish this level and move on. That was unlucky. Three hours of speed up. Not bad, not bad. Continuing with the spin, 300 gems. There you go, we got it. I think right now I have six. I got six sculptures for Leonidas from here. Combine it with the one that I have. I am sitting at seven. Now I need to get the other three. I only have 2,216 gems. I think I might have to get some more gems just to continue. So I reset it. Now moving on to the next stage. Stage seven. I'm trying to get this Leonidas as fast as I can because I also want to get Takeda. I have Attila, I have to get Takeda. Once I am done with Leonidas, I'm gonna try and get some gems to get Takeda just to unlock him. I need three Leonidas to complete the summoning. Is this gonna happen? Will 2,200 gems be enough? 
am I gonna have to get some more gems just to complete this thing? We shall find out. Okay, there you go. First spin, not that great. I reset it because there, there was no gold head there. There was no universal sculpture, that's why I reset it. So moving on to the next one, I see a golden key. I think I'm gonna reset this one again. I just need one good one, that way I can unlock Leonidas and then hopefully get Takeda afterwards. So this one looks great. There is a legendary gold head there. So it's gonna be awesome. Once I finish unlocking Leonidas, I'm gonna have two options to use with Guan Yu. I will have a 5511 Leonidas to pair up with Guan Yu. On top of that, I will have Alexandra to pair up with Guan Yu. I'm gonna have to pick which one works best for me. The way I see it, I'm going to expertise Alexander and then use him with YSG. My YSG is still sitting at 5111. He is gonna be the next commander that I am going to work on. I am going to expertise YSG. I will expertise Alexander. Then I will work on these two commanders. My Guan Yu is 5111. I have to take him to 5155. That is the recommended upgrade for Guan Yu. It's gonna be difficult to do it. However, I'm gonna collect a lot of skill resets and hopefully get a 5155 Guan Yu. If I can get him that way, I'm going to save a bunch of sculptures that I can use somewhere else. There are also new commanders coming into the game, which is why right now I don't really wanna waste my hard-earned gold heads. As of right now, I have like 100 gold heads. I am only VIP 10. I'm going to save those gold heads, wait and see what the next commander is going to be. I will see if I really need to just use my sculptures on the new commanders. And this ladies and gentlemen is the last spin for the day. I got all the 9 sculptures for Leonidas. We are in the inventory section, now it's 10 out of 10. I can summon this guy but I don't think I'm gonna do it today. That deal is gonna show up, I'm not ready to get it yet. When I do, I'm going to get it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, subscribe for more Rise of Kingdoms videos. Turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out. Until then, I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace out.